Hi guys, welcome back to Gilda's Club Art Corner. Um, this is Melissa, and today I'm going to draw a simple lighthouse. Um, this is a two-parter because we're going to um, paint this in our next video. Um, we are using, uh, we will be using watercolors, so I used watercolor paper for this. And again, these are simple shapes; anyone can follow along. Um, and uh, it will really transform when we start to paint this. Um, okay, so for today we're just needing three materials. I have a pencil. I, gra I grabbed a mechanical pencil because that's what I had. Um, make sure I have an eraser, um, a ruler, and some watercolor paper. This is 300 pound cold pressed watercolor paper. Um, so today is mostly just building um, the shapes for when we paint next week. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my horizon horizon line. That's a horizontal line that separates the earth from the sky and I am going to put it down towards the bottom. I'm drawing it super light because I'm actually going to divide this. Um, part of this is going to be the ocean water that the lighthouse is going to be on or to be watching over. And I'm going to go just maybe an inch up and I'm going to be drawing the land line because I'm thinking that it's hanging off over a cliff into the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of curve this line from the horizon line to the horizon line and I'm going to actually erase the horizon line because this is going to tell the viewer that the the land stops and then the ocean is continuing and because it's the ocean it doesn't have to be super straight I just wanted to start out with a nice clean surface the next step is we're going to determine how tall we want our lighthouse and I'm thinking based off of my paper I'm going to do it about six inches and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a guiding line from the top to the bottom this is going to be the middle of my lighthouse and from there I'm going to kind of determine the separation because we have the roof that's going to be a triangle so I'm going to kind of draw a small line for the triangle and then you have the um, the actual um, base where the light shows so this is where people go in so it's going to be the same it's going to mirror the same uh, width and I did it to about about three-fourths of an inch is what I did um, but again, you can eyeball it. That's quite all right. The next step is kind of figuring out how wide your lighthouse is going to be. So we're going to use the bottom line um, that we just drew for where the light is going to be. And I'm just going to di create a diagonal line so it curves in not curved, but it has a face that is tapered at the top and is um, wide at the bottom. So now that I have that line, I don't need this guiding line anymore. So now I'm going to kind of connect this box that I started. So where that three-quarter line is. And we're, we can add some detail, but I want my painting to do most of the details. So most of this is going to just be basic stuff. And then I'm going to finish off the roof by finishing off that triangle from tip to corner. And the ruler does most of the work for us. So the next step is adding some detail. Well, actually, before I move on, 
usually a lighthouse has a little house next to it. So I'm going to draw a, a horizontal line about an inch up and I'm going to create a box. So I'm just going to close that box to the ground and then I'm going to create another horizontal line but I'm not going to make it as big. So that was like an inch. I'm doing about a half an inch and then I'm going to draw a diagonal line for the roof. So now I have a little house with a roof next to it. And if you want, you can create windows. Um, I'm going to freehand the windows because I'm wanting to be wanting them to be a little soft. So I'm going to kind of give them a roundness to them. And that's totally your choice. I think I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to put some of the same windows on my lighthouse, maybe three or four, just kind of spreading them out. A little bit, I think that's good. I don't necessarily want a whole bunch of windows. Um, and then I might, this little decoration, just a little chimney. I think my, um, my little house is going to be in the shadow, so a lot of that detail isn't going to show up until we move on to the next um, uh, part of this video, or this, uh, this project. The next step is there's always a slight guard. So, go back to my inches. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to factor. Let's see put my one inch mark right in the middle where my line was and I'm going to kind of just create like it's almost like a top hat right now but all this is is this um, guard that usually hangs out at the top of a lighthouse for the light crew to look out without falling over. Might have made that a little off, but that's okay. That's why we're doing it in pencil. And then um, we're just drawing some vertical lines for the railing. And we'll go over this with our paint and it'll look a lot nicer. And any mistakes, just go ahead and touch it up. Again, you can draw this as light or as dark as you'd like. Um, I have some uh, tips and tricks uh, if this isn't what, if it's not um, looking like it's going to be detailed, it's, it, we're going to use a lot of light and shadow to create this piece. Now the next step is what I, is kind of creating that um, almost like barber shop pattern is just going through um, diagonal lines so I think I'm only going to do two so I got that right there most of our detail for the water is going to come up next uh, week if you want to do a sailboat you do a curve line and then a straight line Maybe a second curve line, pull it back in like a, almost like a shark's fin, and then you kind of curve them back up, and then the impression of the boat is going to be dark, so it's just kind of filling in a little spot. So if you want to do a little decoration of like something else on that side, by, by all means. We can also do birds, which is just like these really stretched out M's. So curve line, curve line, and the illusion really makes it pop. When they go farther away, they get smaller. So this is pretty much it for our setting up for our next week. Um, I know it seems super basic, but most of that color and um, light and shadow is going to form 
this picture and transform it into a simple drawing into a um, realistic painting. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.